Thank you. Welcome back. You're watching Morning Live. Thank you so much for staying with us. Time now to focus in on sports. And this weekend, the 2019-2020 Absa Premiership season gets underway tomorrow. And it's three fixtures that kick off at 3 p.m. around the country that really gets it all kick-started. Among those fixtures is the Tuanea Derby between defending champions Mamalui Sundowns and Supersport United. Sundowns are aiming for a 10th league title this season with their new kit, which is inspired by the phrase, under the African sun. To speak more about the kit and the season ahead are players Anthony Lafour and Emiliano Tade, as well as Lefa Tutulupo, who is the football sponsorship coordinator at Puma South Africa. A very good morning to all of you gentlemen and welcome to Morning Live. Thanks for having us. Uh, Lefa, I'm going to start with you um, representing Puma. Uh, tell us a little bit about this kit under the African sun. Okay, um, based on the journey that Sundowns have been uh, embarking on into Africa, we decided that um, we're going to give them this nice looking um, simple kit. As you can see, it has the rays of the sun embedded in it. Uh, the journey that Sundowns has been on it has been fantastic. They have conquered Africa and we decided to give them a jersey that is befitting to the, the Sundowner family and their stature. So the jersey has got uh, technology embedded in it. Okay. It's called Tricell. So okay. that's what uh, keeps the players uh, dry and by so doing, it regulates body temperature and uh, the guys keep uh, their performance at an optimum all the time. Uh, Anthony, you've been with the club since January in 2012. You've gone through a couple of jerseys, a couple of brand new kits for the different seasons. How do you like this one? I think this one is beautiful, you know, Puma always gave us the best jerseys, so we're looking forward to rock it. <laughs> uh, it, certainly is, it, it certainly is beautiful. Um, Emiliano, you've uh, just joined the team at the beginning of the year. What are your hopes for the season coming? Yeah, well, you know, when you play for a winning, for a winning mentality club, you know what, what, what is expected, you know. Um, not only to repeat what happened last season, but also, you know, going for everything. You know, I guess that's what happens when you play in a winning mentality club. Uh, Anthony, you guys have been in Botswana as well as in Zambia in preparation for the season ahead. And it's next week Sunday, so not this Sunday, but next week Sunday, that you guys are in the Congo to actually start your CAF Champions League campaign. How has the preseason gone for the team? I think uh, our preparation has been going on very well. You know, uh, the reason why we went to Botswana and, uh, and Zambia is because uh, in Congo, that's the same kind of... Uh, pitches we were going to play on in, in, in Congo. So I think Piso, he did extremely well because we could play friendly games in South Africa, but he wanted us to play more games in Africa for the new guys to adapt into the situation of African football. And I think it went very well. We won our games and uh, we are looking forward to it because it's not, it's not going to be something new. It's an old story. So yeah. We are in it to win it this time around. <laughs> uh, Emiliano, you seem to have started in very well since you moved from Amazulu into the team at Lokop. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm, I mean, you know, the first, well, the first part of my, my journey in the club, uh, it was mostly about the transition, you know, the changing of not only uh, the same club from a, a previous club, but also from different countries. You know, it, it's, it's a completely different environment. And... You know, towards the new season, that's that it changes everything. You know, the, and you know the adapt the adaptation and the adjusting to the team obviously is, is getting very well uh, over the preseason. Uh, Lefa, I want to just sort of bring you into the conversation, but I want to chat about something that has not got to do with your new position at Puma, but that's about some news that broke yesterday, because many people are happy <laughs> to see that you're still involved in football, but uh, they used to seeing you in a maroon jersey, a long-time captain of Morocco Swallows. How did you feel when you found out yesterday and the announcement was made that uh, Swallows are now back in professional football? Honestly, very happy, I. Um, I think Solos deserve to be in a better position. They, 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 the process has been painful for Mr. Lasufi, the f supporters, and those who are aligned with the Morocco Solos brand. And seeing and hearing them uh, giving us the good news yesterday, it, it was overwhelming. Um, I think he, Mr. Lasufi has put a nice structure 
and hopefully for the coming new season in the NFD, everything will go accordingly. I wish them all the best. It was massive, a booster for the second tier of football in the country, the announcement made yesterday. There was also a big announcement in the preseason that uh, the PSL, the winner's check, is going up by 50%. So does that spark uh, some, some more fire in the bellies of the players? I think uh, fire always been in us. It's not about the money. You know, we play for the brand. You know, Sunday is a big club and... Uh, we always want to win trophies, so for us it's not about the money, it's for us to play for the support to make our people happy and win trophies. At the end of the season, if we can get the money, that would be a bonus, but uh, for now we want to win trophies. Uh, Emiliano, how is the team dealing with the reports uh, about Coach Pizzo Masamane? Because uh, uh, that's the other thing that uh, the team are having to deal with going into the brand new season, reports that Pizzo Masamane uh, may be leaving the club. It's completely you not know, our job, you know, to, to, <laughs> yeah, to worry about these things. Actually, we haven't even spoken about it. Okay. That's something that it, it doesn't concern us uh, so far right now, you know. Um, we focus on the season. The, focus, the season starts tomorrow, you know. Those are things that are outside what it's on the page, you know, that what we're concerned about. Uh, Anthony, what's going to happen tomorrow? How the team feeling ahead of the Swane derby? Yeah, we are looking forward to it because uh, the last game we played against Super Bowl, we lost to them. And uh, this time around is the MTN. Yeah, everyone in the team wants to win because uh, I think it's one of the trophies that we missed in our cabinet. So this time around, we are looking forward to beating Super Bowl first before <laughs> moving to the next round of the competition. Super Bowl is the first team. Okay, lovely stuff. Here's a look at the Absa Premiership fixtures uh, for the... First round of fixtures. All of the Absa Premiership teams are going to be in action. The champions, uh, Sundowns, up against Super Sport United. Chip United uh, taking on the debutants in the Absa Premiership in Stellenbosch at the Nelson Mandela Bay Stadium. At Old Pija Macaba, it is Cape Town City up against Baraka FC. Those are the three fixtures that are kicking off at 3 o'clock tomorrow.